What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. Now in today's video we'll be talking about the Z Fold 4 case dilemma which actually affects the Z Fold series as a whole and here we are with my Z Fold 4 with VRS Design TerraGuard Active. Now overall I like this case. It has a tactical design which is a plus and then we have that hinge protection which is going to keep the hinge protected from scratches and dust. Now I have quite the experience when it comes to cases for the Z Fold series, but there's still a problem here. And that is the Z Fold 4 ships with the S Pen, which is nice to have, but as you could tell, I have no place to store it. And this is a problem with cases when it comes to the Z Fold series, because manufacturers are selling us compromises until recently. Spigen finally sells a Slim Armor Pro Pen Edition, which achieves results similar to what I'll be demonstrating in this video. As a side note, you can opt for a case like the one that I have here for the Z Fold 3. This is the VRS Design TerraGuard S. And as you can see, we have that hinge protection. And underneath that, we have a slot for the S Pen. Now, this is all good and well. But as you can imagine, this hinge is going to be thicker since we have that pen storage. And that's going to create problems when trying to fit this whole kit into a mount or controller. Now that brings us to the case combined and here I have the VRS Design Quick Stand Modern Pro. As for this video, it's featured on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 playlist so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. Also, we only feature products or services I buy use or I'm interested in and you can find these items related items and items shown in this video at the Amazon storefront link in the description below all things said let's go ahead and get into it so here we are with the unboxing and the lid is going to slide off nice and smooth contents include a cover display protector product information and front and rear case portions now this case is nice because it features a kickstand and s pen storage but there's a catch because there always is a catch and as you might have guessed no hinge protection that being said we're going to combine my vrs design tear guard active back with hinge protection with the front of the vrs design quick stand modern pro to help optimize my loadout now you may be wondering why i didn't just buy the spigen option i mentioned earlier in the video and that's because it's more expensive to buy that whole case than to just buy the VRS Design Quick Stand Modern Pro and use the front portion. Of course, the con here is I can't use the back portion of the Quick Stand Modern Pro kit, which of course includes the kickstand, but this situation emphasizes the statement, beggars can't be choosers. So here we are, and I removed the front portion of the VRS Design Tear Guard Active from the Z Fold 4 already, and now it's time for the case combined. So I'm going to grab the front portion of the VRS Design Quick Stand Modern Pro and press it into place. Now this may go a little bit easier by pulling on that hinge and then sliding on the bottom edge first, and then simply press into place and then make sure it's fully seated here now I also have a screen protector installed so we don't have any tape holding this front portion of the case onto the phone the screen protector actually holds it in place fairly well now so far the fit checks out and we can go ahead and install the S Pen this is a nice snug fit so it's not going to fall out easily now so far the only con I've noticed is the front portion of the case extends out further than the back portion of the case. Now looking from the front here, this whole kit looks really nice, no issues here whatsoever. And then we have the fold and test. So the device is going to unfold nice and smooth and going to fold smoothly as well. And then we have that hinge protection. That's going to work really well. Do we have a gap on the edge here? No, not really. This is going to look good also. This is the part you're going to have to get past. Again, we are Frankenstein in this. So if this is something that you're considering doing, you're going to have that front edge of the case extend out further than the rear edge of the case. But again, I can live with this. It looks good. We have hinge protection and now we have S Pen storage. So I can actually try to use the S Pen now. And then we have S Pen removal. And again, the S Pen fits in here really snug in this portion of the case. So it's going to be a little tight to actually get out, but that is good because again, you're not going to have to worry about losing it easily. 
And then we have the power button and volume rocker. Those are still going to be accessible. So you'll be able to use the fingerprint and the volume rocker with no issue. Now I will say this is not cost effective and it also contributes to more consumer waste. Shame on case manufacturers for doing this to us. And I truly believe this comes down to just wanting to make more money since case manufacturers can sell you more cases so that you can finally get an optimized case setup. Now what we actually need is more modular customization where we can mix options and order them and then we can complete the loadout we want. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways you can support the content. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way to show your support is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are ways to vote on whether you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time... Leon, check in out. <laughs>